Trigger warning, mentioning of eating disorders. As humans, we are fascinated by the bizarre, the weird, and the unconventional. Our eyes are drawn to those who display different attributes and body types when we are out in public. It can be common to stare or be curious what leads a person to look the way they do or live the lifestyle that they do. When it comes to Eugenia Cooney, the answer is simple, her eating disorder. If you can, I want you to imagine that every day you are told by those that support you that they are concerned for your health because they think you are too skinny, and every day you are bashed by those who hate you because of your mental illness. In the mind of someone struggling with their appearance and the food they put into their bodies, this is like cocaine. This video will discuss Eugenia's past and disorder, how it can develop, how our comments influence, and ultimately what we can do as observers to help her. Let's talk about who Eugenia Cooney is. Eugenia was born on July 27, 1994, and first began her career streaming on YouNow in 2011. Eugenia was often bullied throughout school, causing her to become an at-home learning student. She also partook in modeling and chose to prioritize her live streaming career after feeling too controlled and pressured to quit her online presence from her company. In 2013, her online presence was recognized by a video she posted about how to ratchetly twerk, which went viral and now holds 4.7 million views here on YouTube. Eugenia's content mainly consists of makeup tutorials, clothing hauls, and vlogs. She also streams to over 430,000 Twitch followers. She gains around a million views on a monthly span, and besides the content she uploads, the main thing that may cause people to watch her is the state of her body. Eugenia is infamously known for being very thin and having an unhealthy appearance. Visibly, she does not look well and is likely starving herself to stay thin, which she's likely been doing for over 10 years now. When any mention of food is brought up on stream, she avoids it completely. When it comes to people questioning her health or her apparent eating disorder, she finds ways to defer by saying that she respects how you feel, however she doesn't agree with it and is just trying to live her life and isn't actually hurting anybody. I feel I should point out that this video is personal because I have shared similar struggles when it comes to food. I think it's important to discuss where this dismissal of health comes from in regards to a disorder like anorexia. At its core, anorexia nervosa can be caused by many different situations and can affect those of any gender. It commonly can be rooted in trauma, bullying, family expectations, and internet exposure. It could be said to more likely affect females compared to males due to the excessive body trends women are expected to follow in society and the fact that they are always changing. An example of this could be in the 2000s when women were expected to be skinny with less curves and women now are expected to look like the Kardashians with body types that require surgery to achieve. Quick note that I'm not dismissing anorexia when it comes to males. They can develop eating disorders, of course. It may be a compulsion to exercise more due to the skinny fit type. Those suffering from anorexia nervosa also may have body dysmorphia, which causes them to physically see themselves as bigger or fatter than they are. Often those with body dysmorphia have no ability to see what they physically look like. This is most likely why Eugenia chooses to dismiss when someone says that she looks too thin, because in the mind of someone with anorexia and body dysmorphia, there is never a too thin. If anything, comments like this fuel her obsession with restricting her food intake. As well, saying she needs to gain weight does imply that she looks skinny. Um, when people fear for your health, it must mean that you're getting closer to your perfect goal in your mind, right? If anything, Eugenia takes this as a compliment and feels obligated to keep herself in the state that she is currently in. When I was planning to discuss this, I thought that Eugenia was the problem by ignoring her condition and choosing to stay in the public eye because she felt it made people watch her or that she was drawing attention to how she looked. Um, while watching a video and doing the research, a thought clicked in my head and I realized that Eugenia isn't the bad guy. We are. Hear me out before you guys jump into the comments. I understand my experience is not the only experience of those who suffer from an eating disorder like this. Um, many have different reasons why they begin to neglect their body. When it comes to Eugenia, it could be many different things. It could be her mom, who seems to have zero clue about the state of her daughter's health, um, but also completely dismisses that she looks too small. Um, she also doesn't let Eugenia leave her house most of the time. It could be due to the bullying that she experienced while growing up, and the harassment and bullying that she receives online probably doesn't help. Her modeling career may have taught her some unhealthy habits like certain diets or weight loss methods, or something else completely family related that induced trauma. While it is likely that Eugenia suffered from something at a younger age, it's apparent that those who comment on her videos to support her, or who watch her with concern, don't help. I'm backing this statement now by saying that those who often have an eating disorder do not want help if they're aware of it. 
They don't want people to be concerned for them, so they say that they're okay in order to not be forced or admitted to a place where they are stripped of the control that they have over themselves. Because as long as I pretend that it's not there and that nobody sees it, I'm perfectly fine and I'm in control. Control tends to be a large factor when it comes to anorexia. Those who have the disorder often want some control over themselves when it comes to food because of things that they cannot control. An example would be household circumstances, relationships, etc. Control becomes so important that others accusing you of being unwell makes you feel like they are trying to take control over you and your eating, which can be mentally detrimental to someone with an ED. The worst part I find about this disorder is that over time, you lose all of who you are. You stop partaking in hobbies you enjoy, you might stay in your room and avoid outings or any event food related. You stop enjoying life because every task you do throughout your day is influenced by the food and your appearance. I am also going to add here that the reason she most likely wears heavy makeup is to cover her face or make her feel like she's more attractive. Cute outfits are just outfits, but I would suggest that the heavy goth scene makeup is cover up for appearance. As someone who used to wear very dark rimmed glasses and felt it made her look more attractive, I would know. <laughs> Another part that people struggle with is when you start to progress in your extremely unsafe weight loss. When they see that you've lost lots of weight in a short amount of time, people begin to get very questionative and very concerned. Among those who are anorexic, diets can vary. Sometimes high restriction diets are common, but often the more extreme rexies do below restriction with an intake of normally under 500 calories a day. In this post, the user claims they may start with 300 calories. The reply says that they would lose five pounds a week, which is over twice the recommended amount of two pounds of weight lost a week max. I have no idea how much food Eugenia does or doesn't consume, but because she maintains her weight, I believe she does a low restriction. And since she's been doing it so long, and because she's almost 30, this could be horrible for her health. I think it's awful to say, but I don't believe that she'll be around long if this continues. In the case of Eugenia, we've always been concerned and always questioned her physical appearance. And in recognizing it, it may trigger her to continue starving herself because often people enable her and say she's beautiful or show their deepest concern, which in her head may fuel her need to restrict more. She's also expressed that these comments and concerns from viewers do upset her, mainly because they attack how she looks and say that she can influence others, or because she's getting genuine death threats. She receives a lot of hate for something her mind is influencing her to do because she is sick, and I can understand that it must be extremely hard to deal with. The idea that doing what she loves, like a makeup tutorial, may influence her viewers to develop an unhealthy relationship with food is extremely sad. I am not dismissing this as true, however. She is present in pro anic communities as skinny goals or something that those suffering should aim to be because of the prominence of her bones and face structure. She's also what people might consider bone spo or thin spo, which is often shared and threaded in communities so people can inspire and look to be like her. I definitely do not recommend that you look up these terms, of course. She is also known for body checking, which is a symptom of EDs where people look at their bodies. They might stuck their stomachs in or tend to put their fingers around certain limbs to feel if they're smaller or getting bigger. As she does often do clothing hauls, these clips are pretty common. <laughs> and are likely recorded because she is obsessed with her obsession and appearance and because it becomes such a serious factor when you have an eating disorder. Eugenia often claims as well that she isn't trying to glorify any condition, especially not anything specific. However, if your viewers and anyone can see you, anyone at all, you can influence the way that they want to look. Those who support her constantly may look at her and wish that they were more like her and mimic her lifestyle. It can happen especially when those watching are impressionable, like the age of 10 to 13 year old girls. I also want to mention too that a sickness like this doesn't go away. It can resurface at any point. If you were raised to think that you need to look a certain way to feel validated, you will always feel that way. If you notice yourself gaining weight, it will always bring anxiety and unsafe feelings because that feels unsafe, but feeling hungry doesn't. Taking a short break in the text here, just to talk about some other situations Eugenia is called out for. Again, this video isn't meant to hate on her because of my thesis is just that we shouldn't give her a platform or praise her or hate her at all. Eugenia has been called out for flashing her viewers and then dismissing it or saying it's not a big deal. Because showing her undergarments to children isn't a big deal, you guys. That's great. Love it. It does get made up for and hate though, honestly. Even though that makes her upset and probably worsens her condition. Um, so I guess we just shouldn't do whack things, say it's okay, and then be mad if our viewers bully us. 
She's been called out for some Discord drama that occurred where a moderator in her server was a sex offender, um, who wasn't immediately banned, by the way, until full proof was shown to Eugenia in a server full of minors. So that's not great either. I believe there were other cases as well that occurred in that server that are just not great at all. Thought I would mention it because y'all know we love to call out that shit on this channel. Back to the info. In 2019, Eugenia was forcibly put under a 5150 by some friends who were deeply concerned about her health without prior knowledge, and this caused havoc for her and those friends that she does not associate with now. <laughs> a 5150 is a psychiatric hold for 72 hours. These normally can occur in videos where people have addictions and are given an intervention, where they are taken to a facility without the ability to grab their things, and it's normally against their will. Also, an intervention like this should only be used as a last resort. Eugenia claims that she felt so betrayed and hurt over this, and it felt like she couldn't trust the friends anymore. After this, Shane Dawson released a film on her return to the internet. A still recovering Eugenia was back on the internet and looking better than she ever had in a long, long time. However, this amazing return that was filled went into some severely personal topics about her ED that she was still working on through recovery. And when it comes to her recovery, choosing to air this film and bring Eugenia back so soon was not a good choice. If anything, she should have stayed away for longer and worked on getting better if that was her true intention. If it wasn't, she may have just stepped away, completed what was necessary for her rehab and continued to starve herself in the hopes that people would think that she was now doing better. I don't agree with the interviews that occurred at all. Um, with Shane and the others because her recovery was so fresh. I completely believe that Shane Dawson exploited this girl and used her fragile state to profit from her and her recovery. Which is honestly disgusting and a true tragedy. But we know how Shane is and he's a whole different can of worms. While we don't know the full story behind why she chose to return so soon, I believe her being online at all does cause her eating disorder, along with the comments she receives. I claimed earlier that people enable her, and most of these people are infatuated with her or are from ED communities. I'm choosing not to name these specific communities because they can be very triggering, influential, and mean depending on how you view yourself. I also acknowledge that these communities are intended as safe spaces, However, some people can get out of hand and choose to look at eating disorders in a negative light by influencing those in the community that they are in to be harder on themselves. Please, for the love of God, if you are not somebody suffering from an ED, and even if you are, don't go searching for these communities. Don't harass these people who are just venting about their sickness. It will not help them either. And I personally wouldn't send you guys to communities that contributed to my ED, so that's all I'm going to address when it comes to community. I'm sure you guys are questioning then, what do we do about Eugenia? There have been petitions and such when it comes to removing her from the internet over the years, but in the most honest, most realistic way I can respond to this question is nothing. You cannot help someone who doesn't want to be helped. In the case of an eating disorder, this will only make the person suffering from it worse. I'll say right now that she's aware of her condition because it's all that throws through the mind of someone with an eating disorder. She knows she's unwell. She just chooses to ignore it, and bringing it up to her and accusing her of being a horrible person who promotes anorexia will not help her get anywhere, especially not well. You might be completely right, but it doesn't help. Personally, I have three statements about all of this. One, Eugenia is sick, and she can unintentionally glorify or promote her sickness to impressional viewers. Two, Eugenia can unintentionally make those with EDs worse. However, it's not necessarily her fault if an image of her is shared around. She could make a public statement about this, however. 3. She should make the choice of going faceless or not showing her body in order to decrease these facts, but I doubt she will. Actually, we're going to make it four statements. 4. Eugenia is not meant for us to be someone we harass into a hospital or treatment. She needs to deal with her illness on her own when she realizes what it's doing to her. I'm not saying it's okay or good, but it's the best thing. I personally don't want the inevitable to happen, but it's definitely in her future if she stays like this rather than retrying recovery. They say the same thing about addicts. You have to want help. An eating disorder is an addiction and obsession. If you can help it, you don't give an alcoholic a bottle. You don't give a gambler money. You don't give someone with an eating disorder praise or hate because it's not going to benefit them in any way besides worsening their condition. I think the last statement I need to say here is this. Why would Eugenia be compelled to listen to you as her viewer when she does not know you? If anything, her mother needs to recognize what's going on and try to impact her. 
I know there are theories that her mother is enabling her, which I would honestly agree with. It is a large possibility that she's using Eugenia for her money and is keeping her sick in order to profit off of her. However, this is just speculated. I can't confirm this for you guys at this time, but I would not be fucking surprised. Anyway, everyone, thank you all so much for watching this video. I hope you guys understand why I chose to take this approach when it comes to this topic because I don't want to feel responsible for the worsening of her ED. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like, subscribe if you'd like to stick around, and I will always love to hear what you guys think about all of this in the comments down below. Please be sensitive to others' experiences and no triggers you might be mentioning. Again, I'm gonna say it for the third time. Thank you guys all so much for watching, and I'll see you guys all in the next one.